Hello, dear reader. I have for you my evaluation of the Logitech F310 Teen Gamepad, which is a controller used for playing PC games. While I bought mine at a garage sale recently for pennies, these controllers can be found online for around $20 on average. I will be making my evaluation using three basic criteria, button quality, ergonomics, and features. Let's begin. In regards to the button quality of the Logitech F310 10, it excels in some places and falls short in others. The D-pad is of excellent quality, offering very precise control of all eight directions, and the face buttons are brightly colored and very satisfying to press. The robustness of the buttons makes it feel like it can withstand even the most button mashing of gaming sessions. The joysticks are sturdy, and their buttons are also satisfying to press, but their dead zones are wide and stiff, making for less than ideal precision for some games. While the top shoulder buttons are nice, the bottom shoulder buttons are atrocious. Stiff springs and far too much draw distance required to activate the buttons would put any FPS gamer at a significant disadvantage compared to other controllers. Ergonomically, this controller is set into two classes depending on how you are operating it, rather comfortable or rather uncomfortable. When playing games that utilize the D-pad and face buttons mainly, the hands are oriented in a way that pose no issues and offer a fine level of comfort. However, while playing games that utilize the joysticks, the hands have to tilt slightly in such a way that causes irritating chafing to occur on the middle fingers. This is due to the design of the aforementioned bottom shoulder buttons, which jut jarringly downward and inward, which causes the plastic to constantly rub on the sides of your fingers when playing with it. As far as features are concerned, the Logitech F310 is middling in comparison to some other controllers, but also has a unique feature of its own that I haven't seen too often. One feature I like is that it has a switch in the back that can select between X input and D input, which means there will not be a controller supported PC game that you'll be unable to play with this. Another feature, one that I think is useful if not niche, is a mode button that when pressed alternates control between the D-pad and the left joystick. If you enjoy arcade or retro gaming, that won't demand precise or lengthy joystick play, I would recommend buying this. Otherwise, I'd hold out and search for a better option in the $40-$50 bracket. Your fingers and your KD ratio will thank you.